Meanwhile, lo local high school uh, great at Glendora High School, UCLA uh, Hall of Famer and NBA champion, one-time Laker, well, shooting, Laker shooting and coach. It's really amazing about this young guy and a UCLA broadcaster. His name is Tracy Murray. He's in Los Angeles through and through, and he really sat down with our Kristen Smith to talk about how he, how he meant to end up playing and staying right here at home. Legends, sponsored by calljacob.com. This is your hometown. How deep does the pride go for your hometown? A lot of pride. I grew up right here in Pasadena, California. You know, it's like right there. I grew up right here in Lakerland. I grew up a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar fan, home of Michael Cooper, which I grew up in his basketball camps. So you have a Laker bloodline. Glendora High School, a lot of times people want to get out of town after high school, but you stayed local at UCLA. Everything worked out recruiting wise to go to UCLA to set foot on campus the first day there and it was during Magic Johnson's charity event. So the first day I'm there, I'm looking on the floor. I see Magic Johnson, I see Clyde Drexler, I see Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas. So that was my first day on campus and from that point forward, uh, athletically I grew and socially I grew. And then your professional career in the NBA, if I had a map, and I were to put all of your everywhere. pit stops. Oh my gosh! Can you rattle off the journey? Portland for two and a half, Houston for a half, championship there, Toronto for a year, Washington for four, Denver for a half, back to Toronto for a year and a half, Lakers for a year, Portland for a year, training camp in New York, on the Greece for two years, France, 15 years, I'm done with it. I'm, I'm, I'm through. I'm through. <laughs> yes! <laughs> returning to UCLA as a, as a broadcasting analyst. To be able to come back to UCLA after coming back and graduating in 2006, figuring out what I wanted to do, whether it was coaching or broadcasting, broadcasting ended up coming first. Okay, now we're gonna make that stop in 2002. Yes. When you were traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. What was that moment like when you got the call? I was on air in Toronto. My agent, Arne Tellum, is blowing me up. He said, uh, you're going to be going to the Lakers. So I'm like, OK, I'm going home. They just come off their third championship. Right, but then there were some tragic things that happened. Right. Chick Hearn dies. That was part of my dream, was to play in a Laker uniform, Chick Hearn call my game. Mm -hmm. So it was the beginning of a tough situation here in Los Angeles. And Phil Jackson, what was it like to play for him? It was, it was kind of difficult, to be honest with you. Feels great, but communication wise is a little difficult. You know, the, the old Zen master thing, you know, he does his thing and, and if you're not used to it, you don't understand it. So what I'm gonna do is be positive, come work hard every day, support my teammates, be ready when I'm called on. It sounds like you really were able to bond quickly, especially off Absolutely. the Absolutely. Yeah. All the most of these guys I work out with in the summertime anyway. Yeah. Derek Fisher and I stayed in the same complex at one point. Shaq and I were McDonald's All-Americans together. Kobe and I had the same agent. I was there the day that he broke his wrist at Venice Beach. And, you know, told him not to play, but you saw how great he was then in the couple of plays that he made. You saw how stubborn he was and how much he also loved the game. Now, when you learned of Kobe's passing. Tough. <sighs> Not only did I share a locker room with him and, and know his family, knew him from the first day he got there. Fast forward, I come back as a coach his last year. After that great year, the two numbers going up in the rafters, and then all of a sudden, I get a call saying that Kobe passed away. I'm like, no, get out of here, man. And then when he said helicopter, I was like, no. What does being a Los Angeles Laker mean to you? This is probably the most storied organization in the NBA history. And the, I'm sure the Celtics got something to say about that, but we don't like Celtics around here. So I don't care what the Celtics think. To go through the journey of professional basketball, first of all, is, you know, it's a blessing to be there. And then to get to the Lakers, I mean, who wouldn't want that to happen? You know, better when I, when I think about Tracy, all you have to do is just look at what he's done in his great career. And he's a perfect example for our young people because they can tell, he can tell them, been there, done that. Yeah, and he's still involved in the high school scene. You'll see him during the summer in the AAU tournaments. I actually told my kid a couple of summers ago, like, that's Tracy Murray. Go take a picture with him. I'm not the one to tell Mattel to take pictures with guys. But that guy, Tracy Murray, in three years of high school, scored over 3 
thousand points. And you're like, well, why only three? Because back in his day, high school was only three years. And then he led the nation in high school gym. He was averaging almost 45 points a game mm -hmm. for the Glendora uh, tar tar uh, Tartars. Mm -hmm. So he got it down, man. Look him up. Yeah. You'll be surprised and really glad. All right, everybody, still to come. Uh,